for you serial killer and ID fans, we have given you some time off since we've recommended the Clove Hitch Killer. Now that you've showered up, bleached your eyes, and tried to make right by that unclean feeling that Dylan McDermott left you with, it's time to journey back into the mind of a serial killer and only a little bit deeper into the darkness than before. Welcome back to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional during our 31 days of Halloween. And this is Dave from Nerdbox, and I am accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode, we are talking about the movie Chained. So fire up the Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. <laughs> Nine-year-old Tim and his mother, Sarah, are picked up by a cab driver. And what seems to be a normal pickup and drop off soon turns deadly when they're taken back to the driver's house, where the cab driver, Bob, kills the mother. And as for Tim, he has other intentions for him. Not that. He chains Tim to a wall, changes his name to Rabbit, and forces him into servitude. However, over the years, Bob begins to feel fatherly and guilty that he's not taught Rabbit anything. So he decides that it's best to pass on his legacy to Rabbit and teach him how to become a serial killer. Yeah, so let's start off with, this is Vincent Vinny D'Onofrio. I don't know why I always want to call him Vinny, but it fits him. Maybe that's what his friends call him. Maybe I'll meet him one day and say, hey, you can call me Vinny. Anyway, so it has the Nafiro in it, and if you're familiar with his work, you know that he kills it. This is what Private Pyle would have turned into if he survived Full Metal Jacket. Now, as we said, so he is a serial killer. He's a little bit on the slower side mm-hmm. of things, and uh, yeah, he just brings woman after woman, home, and he has these, some strict rules set up for a rabbit. Yeah. No, you got 10 seconds to answer the door, or you get beat. If you don't clean the house, you get beat. Yeah. The only- uh, yeah, you can't, he can't even eat breakfast until after Bob has eaten, and he only gets Bob's leftovers. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, he gets beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, you know, He even has Rabbit wash him as Mm -hmm. a little kid and into adulthood, you know. So we get to see, you know, that relationship go from nine-year-old Rabbit until maybe nine years later, I think? Uh, The writer of the movie said that it was never actually said, but that it was a 10-year period. Mm -hmm. So he would have been 19 by the time the movie ends. Yeah, and what did you think of this one? <laughs> this movie, uh, disturbing. Yeah, it was disturbing. It was very disturbing. I think, especially having had Vincent D'Onofrio, because let's face it, he can really creep people out in his roles. I feel like he can just do anything, and I really felt like he was a serial killer. Yeah. Watching him in this film, I I felt I felt dirty, and I felt. I was afraid of him. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a big guy. He's, you, you know, so, I mean, you think about that and then the, the way that he was acting and, yeah, he was, he nailed it. Yeah, the look, the way he talked, uh, even his facial expressions, mm-hmm. all serial killer, like I would imagine, of the mentally unstable type. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. he's definitely mentally unstable. It turns out, I mean, in flashbacks that, his life was horrible mm-hmm. growing up. It was him and his parents and his brother, who I think was a little older. But yeah, his dad beat the shit out of them mm-hmm. on a daily basis and actually made Bob have sex with his own mother while he watched. Mm-hmm. So yeah, 
I mean, I can see why this guy is disturbed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Probably should have had some counseling a long time ago so he didn't become what he did, but yeah. Yeah, the way he treats the women in this movie, too, is definitely more disturbing than we saw Dylan McDermott do in The Clovich Killer. Like, mm -hmm. he just downright smothers these women, you know, because he's a bigger guy, so he does it. And then he sleeps with them nude, and he, you know, they show you what they do with the bodies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And he he's of a mindset that just all women are whores. That's mm -hmm. it. And I guess he got, I think he got that mindset from his, his own father. But yeah, so he doesn't have any respect for women at all. Mm -hmm. So while he's a serial killer, he's very particular. It's only women. Yeah. He doesn't which, kill men. Which he refers to them as they. Yeah. So he doesn't ever say women or you know females. He just refers to them as they. Yeah. Now, as the story progresses, you know, we have that time jump. He picks up uh, father and son, and mm -hmm. the father is in the back seat, just scolding his son for something and then just pops him in the face. And that kind of just sets mm -hmm. off some guilt in himself. It's like, oh, man, that's how my dad was with me, and mm -hmm. now I have a kid who's chained to the wall and I haven't taught mm -hmm. him anything. So yeah. the relationship kind of changes there mm -hmm. and he wants him to learn and be educated. So he just kind of gives him like encyclopedia books and mm -hmm. scientific books and stuff like that. And it's like, you got to read it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to test you on it. And then there's even a, a game that they play with driver's licenses. It's like a card game. Yeah. Kind of. Mm -hmm. So actually, when asked about her favorite scene in the movie, director Jennifer Lynch, yes, directed by a woman, uh, Jennifer Lynch says it is the game with the driver's licenses, which was originally much longer and partially improvised by the actors themselves. Hmm. So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, and the driver's licenses are, if you haven't figured it out, of all their victims. So yeah. it's coming down to memorizing you know, where they live names, age, weight, and all that other stuff in order to win. Yeah, because apparently some driver's licenses, I know in other states, not here, they put your weight mm -hmm. on the driver's license. I'm really happy they don't do that here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he Vincent D'Onofrio makes like a comment. He's like, oh, 126. And he's like, she definitely lied about that. I mean, maybe it was an old license and she gained weight. Who mm -hmm. knows? But yeah, so it was just, it was details like that, whatever was on the license. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with this movie here, you know, the next steps in their relationship is, hey, I'm going to make you a man. And that means you have to do the deeds mm -hmm. with, you know, another woman. And that's either having sex or killing them. So that's where we kind of leave it. Definitely an excellent serial killer movie to watch. Yeah. This is our next to last in this category. The, mm -hmm. the next one is a combination of serial killer and shaky cam mm -hmm. which is really good yeah yeah and just to give you an idea of the the brutality and the sadistic behaviors in this movie it was originally rated nc-17 mm. by the mpaa for some explicit violence yeah i could see why but the film was later edited to achieve an r rating for disturbing and sadistic violent content including bloody killings and rape and for language and sexuality this is not a family movie and it may not even be for people who are squeamish yeah yeah definitely <laughs> not so this is the second movie in our picks this month that had to have content taken out yeah around rape yes that got it from an nc-17 to an r rating i would hate to see this as an nc-17 yeah, I mean, obviously the movie was a lot longer originally because it was the NC-17. I I don't know if I could watch the NC-17 having seen the rated R version and how much it disturbs me. I don't know that I could watch the NC-17. Yeah, have you seen this? Give us your review and give us your rating in the comments below. Do you like serial killer movies? Did you watch Clove Hitch after we recommended it? How does this compare to that movie? Mm -hmm. You know, who's the worst serial killer here? You know, so let us know by putting those in the comments. Definitely. Yeah, definitely let us know. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications and share. Yes.
please share. And uh, let's start a conversation in the comments about serial killers or the ID channel. Okay. And until tomorrow, see, see ya. ya.